Johannes Itten took over as head of the Bauhaus from 1919 to 1923. Itten was both a teacher and a painter, but his teaching was sometimes rather curiously affected by his personal enthusiasm. He had an incredible influence over young people. He would make them stand before him as he sat in a dimly lit room and would stare into their eyes for minutes on end. Then he would announce whether they could attend his courses or not. Frankly, artistic activity was rather relegated to the background. When Theo von Doesburg joined the Bauhaus, he provided a counterbalance to Itten's ideas. Itten's eccentricities led finally to his dismissal. He was succeeded by Maholy Nodge. Laszlo Maholy Nodge, head of the Bauhaus from 1923 to 1928. When we look at the work done by Maholy Nodge and his pupils today, it looks very like modern abstract sculpture. It was certainly modern, but it was not thought of as sculpture. These objects were designed purely to demonstrate the different technical properties of materials like metal, glass or wire. New forms, said Maholy Nodge, can be created from relationships and measurements such as the golden mean and other systems of proportion. They can be created from positions and angles in space, which can also be measured. They can even be created from speed, movement, direction, contrast, light, optical illusions, and so on. Re-exploring the simple laws of gravity and balance, these abstract constructions seem to revive some of the speculations of Leonardo da Vinci. In his paintings, Maholy Nodge focused on similar ideas, but using a flat two-dimensional plane instead of three-dimensional space. An untiring innovator, he was one of the first artists of the period to use different textures and images pasted together, the technique called collage. Researches in experimental photography added to the profoundly avant-garde spirit of his work. Joseph Albers also contributed to the Bauhaus approach. Armed with a bag and hammer, I used to scour the rubbish dumps for bits of glass and old bottles I needed for my work. It was a question of persuading students to play around, to familiarize themselves with materials which weren't associated with art at all, and to create remarkable, unexpected things from them. Little by little, by manipulating them, testing their elasticity or their rigidity, you discovered their technical and artistic possibilities, their expressive potential.
painting by Joseph Albers. Within a format of squares which remains constant, colors change and interchange in endless progressions and sequences. return to basic forms. Project for a monument. Theme, the physical form of bars 52 to 55 of Johann Sebastian Bach's Fugue in E minor. A simple and scholarly visual exercise based like its musical model on mathematics. Oscar Schlemm called his metal sculpture abstract figure. Strangely, it seems less abstract than Bach's fugue, more like a monument to the glory of robots. The Bauhaus. The Bauhaus.